Hello everyone, welcome to our today's topics on preservation of fish and fishery product. I'm Dr. Rakhi Dash, Assistant Professor, Aquaculture Department, School of Science, Sage University, Bhopal. Today, I'm discussing with you the fish preservation process. What does fish preservation mean? Regulating the surface life of the fish and fish product by implying the different branches of the science in order to keep the fish fresh, lucrative after it has captured in a condition wholesome and suitable for the human consumption that it can call fish preservation process. Why fish preserve? We all of know that the fish is a valuable product in the whole worldwide for the prime source of its high quality protein. Fish is more susceptible to spoilers than other animal protein. To prevent the spoilers, preservation is essential. During the preservation period, the fish is kept as raw as possible with minimal losses of the taste, flavor, odor, need to develop and quality also. Fish preservation in ancient time. From the ancient period, our ancestors are used different types of the fish preservation method. You know, if you look at this picture, then you can identify the smoking of the fish, drying of the fish with different types of the harbor. Uh, number third is the pickling of the fish and number fourth is salting of the fish. Modern fish preservation. In modern period, mainly two methods are followed for preserve the fish from spoilers. Preservation for the short period, which is chilling the fish by ice flakes or ice cubes, and preservation for the long period, like freezing, drying, canning, smoking, salting, pickling the fish product with the package. Freezing. Freezing helps to quick removal of the heat from the body. In quick freezing period, every part of the fish product contact within range 0 to minus 5 degrees centigrade. Generally, fish processing company freeze the fish at minus 20 degrees centigrade for properly frozen the fish. And in the different type of the freezer are used for the freezer the fish. Such as if you look at this picture, then you can identify the different type of the freezer which are used for mainly freezing the fish. Number one is air blast freezer, number two is sharp freezer, number three is contact plate freezer, number four is emulsion freezing, number five is liquid nitrogen freezing, and number six is cryogenic freezing. Salting. Salting is another type of the fish preservation in very common salt. Like sodium chloride is used as a preservative for stop the bacterial group and inactivate the enzymatic action in fish tissues. Some factors are very important in salting the fish, such as quality of the salt, quantity of the salt, method of salting, temperature conditions. Generally, small fishes are salted directly without being degutted, and a smaller large fish, head and visor are removed fish, uh, removed first, and after that, they are cut by longitudinal and filled with the salt. A smoking is another preservation method where I smoke the fish with various smoking particles like phenolic compounds, carbonyl, and organic acids, which enhance the quality of the fish. Smoking particles helps to inhibit the bacterial growth on the surface of the fish or fish product. It has a great demand from the ancient period to present time also for a positive effect on the flavor and color of the product. Canning. Canning is a special sort of preservation in where microorganisms in fish are killing by heat. Generally, oily fishes are selected for the canning. Tuna, salmon, herrings, lobster, and prawn are popular for canning the fish product. Drying is an ancient method for fish preservation. It stops the microbial growth but reduces the water activity in a fish body. In natural drying process, fishes are cutted and cleaned, degutted and dried in the sunshine. In artificial drying process, different types of mechanical dryer are used for this purpose. Pickling. Pickling is one of the easiest methods of the fish preservation. You know, our fish, after being caught or cleaned, cutting with digital shape and deep fried the product on vegetable oil and is subsequently mixed with vinegar and salt for the preservation. Benefits of the fish preservation. 
preservation of the fissured products assure the quality for consumption by controlling the pathogenic microorganisms processed fissured product now play a big role in food security generate the employment house in transportation from rural to urban area provides the extra currency by exporting the foreign market this is my reference page thank you for listening me stay tuned and subscribe to our sage university's gopal page